Hey guys, so today's video, what I'm going to be doing is I'm gonna be showing you guys how to wrap your hands for Muay Thai, and you could even use it for boxing as well and kickboxing, but how to use a hand wrap using Velcro wraps. Now there are hundreds of videos out there that will give you different types of um, methods. My way is very different. I've been doing it this way for over 30 something years now, and it's been modified as I kept you know, being in the sport and training, you'll see real quick how awesome this method is. This method is gonna give you great support for your knuckles, okay? A lot more padding than what you usually get. Your hand wrap will be more compact, it'll be neater, and it'll definitely give you all the support that you need for your wrists, your thumb, and your knuckles, okay? You're gonna get a first person point of view today, so it's gonna be a really awesome uh, video and to help you just get better at hand wrapping, and I promise you, you will fall in love with this method, okay? So with that said, let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna give you guys a basic layout here. So what I want you guys to do is always start with the Velcro, okay? Uh, this way you're starting out with the roll already rolled up. It's gonna be so much easier to wrap your hands when your hand wraps are rolled up, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I wanna start with this Velcro and I wanna make like a basic fold. Now, what I want is when I place my hand down, I want one inch on both sides of my knuckles. That will provide that I have a, a nice sized uh, wrap from the knuckles, okay? So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to create padding for the knuckles. So this is my first fold. I wanna do it traditionally about four times. That's two, three, and four. Now for my people that have smaller hands, you guys can actually um, maybe add two, three more folds, so you'll get even more padding for the knuckles here. But I'm gonna just use four as the base, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my hand down, I'm gonna put it more towards the end. If you notice this line of my pinky here, that's what I'm gonna use to gauge. I'm gonna grab that wrap, I'm gonna grab it with my thumb, I'm gonna pull this roll super tight, and I'm gonna roll my hand over, and that slab, will literally tuck in by itself. All I need to do now is go over it one time and now I can pick my hand up. And I'm simply gonna roll once around. Let me roll up my sleeve of my sweater here. Okay, and now I've gone once around, I'm gonna go down to my wrist bone. So I'm gonna go all the way around the wrist. Okay, I'm gonna go down my arm halfway, back up to the wrist bone halfway. So I've done three times. I'm gonna go around the knuckle of my thumb one time and around the wrist bone. Now me personally, I don't like a lot of uh, times around my thumb. I don't need that much support for my thumb, but if you need more support, you can always go around twice. If you have big hands, I highly recommend only going once so you have room for everything else. We're now gonna go into what I call a big X. A big X comes up to the top of the knuckles on both sides. Notice I'm not doing anything with my fingers. I'm keeping them relaxed. I'm gonna come down to the wrist bone. You can see I made a big X. I'm now gonna repeat that process by going in between the fingers. I call these little X's. When I go in between the finger, I wanna make a quick fist to make sure it contours to my hand. I'm gonna come down low, down to the wrist bone. You can see I made a little X. I'm gonna repeat this strategy for the remaining fingers. I'm gonna make a, a nice little fist really quick. I'm gonna come down low. I'm gonna go into the last finger, repeating it, making a fist, and I'm gonna come down here. And I'm gonna repeat the same thing. Now I've gotten all my knuckles finished. I'm now gonna repeat my wrist, just giving it all the extra support that I need. Just going up and down. There's no right or wrong of how to do that, how many times, it doesn't matter. I wanna leave about six to eight inches of slack left, and I'm gonna go through the pinky, and now I'm gonna turn my hand over. And you'll notice your palm should be completely open. If you did this correctly, this, this uh, process correctly, there should be an open palm. I'm gonna come in and tuck underneath and I'm gonna come out through the ring finger and the middle finger and I'm gonna pull it tight. And I pull it up to create more space. I'm now gonna come underneath and then I'm gonna go out through my middle finger and my index finger. I'm gonna do that whole one more time, and now you can see it's made like a nice little bar. 
All right, it pulls up my palm, opens that up more, and I'm gonna just alternate going through both of those holes that I've gone through previously until I have no more slack left. So I have about that much left. I can actually just tuck it in over the top and boom. And now I have a nice bar. So when I make a fist, it's like that old saying, uh, holding a lighter, holding a roll of coins in your hand. And now you can see my knuckles are protected. I have padding for my knuckles. My thumb's protected. My wrist is protected. All right. And there you go. Um, this is very similar to how I wrap hands for professional fighters as well. All right, guys. So now that I've finished my right hand, I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate the left hand. And just I want to make a special notation, too. If you notice, the hand wrap goes just about to the knuckle of my pinky. That is a very important uh, concept. So when you make a fist, all your knuckles are fully protected. OK, I just want to make sure you guys understand that. So with the left right hand, I'm gonna rotate it this way, right? Left hand, we did this way. Right hand, we're gonna go this way. And as you remember from the other hand, I'm gonna make like a basic fold. This will be like my gauging uh, measurement for my knuckles. So remember that we wanna put our hand in the middle and we want about one inch on both sides of your knuckles, okay? Now, once I have that measurement, I wanna fold it about four times, right? If you have smaller hands, you can do about six but I'm gonna do a basic four just for the video. All right, after I've done my four to six folds, what I'm gonna do is again, placing my right hand down. I wanna go more towards the end. And remember this pinky line right here, okay? I'm gonna put it on the edge of that wrap. I have more to grab here. I'm gonna grab it with my thumb. I'm gonna pull this slack really tight and I'm gonna flip my hand over. When I flip my hand over, that slab should tuck in by itself without having any issues. I'm now going to bring it over. You can see I'm holding with my thumb to make sure nothing slides. I'm gonna go one time around. I'm gonna to go to my wrist bone, okay? I'm gonna go down my arm halfway, up to the wrist bone. I'm now going to go around the knuckle of my thumb and I'm going to go to the wrist bone. I'm going to do it only one time. Like I said earlier, you can do two if you feel like you need the extra support, but honestly, I think one is enough. I'm going to go right into the big X where I'm coming up to the top of the knuckles and then coming back down to the wrist bone. You can see I made a huge X there, here and here. I'm now going to repeat the steps, doing a little X is what I like to call it. I'm going to go in between my fingers. And just a side note, I don't pull on it super hard. I don't want to make it um, too tight on my hand where I lose blood circulation, okay? So I'm going to make a nice fist to make sure it's contoured. I'm going to come down low to the wrist bone, which completes a little X. I repeat that same step for all the fingers. Again, not putting too much tension. I make a fist, come down low around the wrist bone. I go to the last finger, again, not too tight, making a fist, makes it contour around the wrist bone. Now from here, I don't have too much left, so I'm gonna just basically take turns going up and down my wrist until I have about six to eight inches, okay? So that's a little short, so I'm gonna take one off my wrist, and then I'm gonna be here, going. I'm going through the pinky and the ring finger, I'm gonna turn my hand over, Remember, like I said, right, we need an open palm. That, that assures that you did it correctly. You're, I'm now going to put it in between my ring finger and middle finger. I'm going to pull it tight. I'm going to go underneath again, coming through my uh, middle finger and my index finger, pulling it tight. I'm going to do it one more time through that same exact hole. Boom. Now you can see I made a nice bar. It's opened up my palm that much more. And I'm gonna just alternate going through those holes till I have no more left, okay? So I'm literally, you can see, I'm just taking turns going through the two holes that I previously went through. Now, depending on your preference, me personally, I'm pretty much done. So all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tuck that in underneath. If you notice for the other hand, I went over the top. This one, I was able to go underneath. And that's it. I'm able to make a bar. So when I make a nice tight fist, you can see my wrist is nice and uh, my fingers are nice and straight. My knuckles are super protected. 
it's covering the knuckles right there. So I have full on protection when I'm punching a bag, punching a pad, I got my boxing gloves on, I'm good to go. All right, and there you go guys. This is a great way for you to learn how to wrap your hands on your own using Velcro wraps without making it difficult, okay? But there you go, the finishing product. All right, that concludes the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, this is, there's different types of videos out there to wrap, hand wrap, okay? There's no right or wrong way. This is just a method that I've used for, sheesh, like uh, thir 30 something plus years now. Um, it's modernized into what I do today. And it's just from trial and error and seeing what works best and what doesn't. Uh, but it's like I said, sometimes um, I see a lot of people using the Velcro hand wraps and they actually start with the thumb loop, which you saw in this video. I ended with that thumb loop and you saw I was able to keep my hand wrap rolled up throughout the whole process. And you saw how easy and effortlessly I went through the hand wrap process as opposed to starting with the thumb loop. You have to, you have all this excess slack. It might be tangled up. It just makes it very difficult, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Watch it over and over as many times as you need until you get it down packed. Just remember, uh, everyone's preference is different. Some people like it firmer than others. You just gauge it off of what you like and what your preference is and you know, practice will get you there, okay? Um, so if you did enjoy this video, don't forget to like it, share it, and uh, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you like some of our other content. <laughs>